All right. So now that we have the listing ready, we will look at making the detailed page. Okay. So the first thing which we are going to do is in web.php, we create that route. What we are going to do is use route model binding, which will help us get the event directly. Okay. So inside event controller, we will create a method which is view. And because we have done route model binding in here, I could have done ID, but I'm doing event. So what will happen is Laravel will magically understand that you know it needs to load up the event object. And so we will get dollar event now for that in our listing. This is where we are showing the title, right? So we'll create an A tag. Um, the name will be event view. Okay, so this is the name of the route. In here, this is our A tag. We'll say route. Yeah, and we'll have to pass the ID. So upcoming event ID. Same will be applicable in the past event section. Okay, so in here we have past event ID and past event title. So let's refresh, and yes, we have everything in here. If we click on it, we will get that particular event. So ID 1, and if we click this, ID 3. So, so far, so good. Now, what we will do is inside resources event view blade.php okay and in that we need the view which will display the entire event details so Why don't we do one thing? I'll copy the entire code and then we'll come back. Okay, so this is my markup. I have created a panel as usual. I'm showing the title, the description in here. Then we have a small uh, table with three TRs to display the different information. And this is a div in which I will show my Google map which we will do later on in this video of course but uh, first let us return view event dot event view and we need to say event not event so this is the data which we are passing into the view okay and now let's see all right so we have the detail of the event as you can see i'm printing out the title description start date and date address and it will be good if i can show the google map in here right so i already have the code so what i'll do is i'll paste it in here and then um, we will move ahead but before we do that you know, there are small bit of changes in our layout which we need to do so i'll tell you what is it we'll create a new section in our html play which will be footer script okay and one more which will be header styles now why do we need this so the google script which will come will be here okay and i need to write one line of styling for the map to be displaying there and so i don't want that you know to be carrying forward in each page that's why we are doing it here and now because we have done it here so we need to yield them in our main html right so this is my container and then 
I'll just add this so footer script will be added here and in here I will do header styles okay so whatever is inside this will come here and the script will come here now it's time to copy paste the code for Google Maps and then I will in detail go through what is happening okay so now let's see we have a function init map okay and what this is doing is it is taking the lat long and then instantiating the Google Maps with get element by ID map and that's why you can see I have a div in here which says ID map okay uh, then we are setting the zoom level we are centering it to this particular variable location and we are also setting a markup sorry marker a new variable marker and in the position we are passing it okay and the last thing is and this part is very important we need to call the script async differ and call this js file and we need to pass our google map api key and this is how the init map is this function is getting called once this file is loaded the callback function will take this function name and it calls it and obviously we need to pass this with 100% and hide 400 and now if we refresh we can see the map in here right so event listing if I click here now I have a different pointer um, let's see what all locations do I have is there any other um, I think I saw an yeah so everything is uh, you know, really uh, very near to the water bodies but you get the point right so the, the markers are in different places so we are actually showing the exact location and yeah that's how we have implemented Google Maps with you know, our event listing and yeah um, you know, in the next video what we are going to accomplish is creating the interface to add this event you know, we need to be able to add these basic details in our database so if we see you know we need to enter title description address start date end date okay and also we will need an interface so that we can uh, select the lat long uh, through a google map I don't want this to be typed out I don't know how to do that right so that's something which we will touch upon in the future videos so yeah thanks for watching guys if you like the video and if you like the series do comment and subscribe to my channel